welcome to my studio. I thought I'd make a quick video on how to use watercolor blocks. A lot of artists love using these because they're ready to go. This one's by Fluid. It's a cold press, which is my favorite. And I love this brand because it's pretty affordable and it has that 100% cotton paper, which I find really lovely to work with. And this is a 300 pound watercolor block. So watercolor blocks are really nice for plein air painting because they come with all the pages attached right to this block. So instead of taping things down or using clips to adhere my watercolor paper to a board, and as a lot of you know, I'm not a big fan of stretching my watercolor paper, these blocks come with these gummed edges. And depending on the brand, some will have two edges gummed, some will have all four, but all the pieces of paper are attached and ready to go. So I opened this up last night and I painted this quick watercolor, which there'll be a video about later. And I'm just gonna show you how to separate the pages. So you don't have to separate them in advance. You just take um, a palette knife. This is actually a butter knife or a, a ruler, anything flat. It doesn't have to be particularly sharp. And when you want to start a new page, look along the sides, find wherever there is a gap, and then you push along the side. Now, some brands just have a little gap. So some brands are gummed all the way around the edge and then they have a small like one or two inch gap to remove your paper from. So make sure you take a look all the way around. This brand is only gummed on the top and bottom, but then take your flat surface and just kind of pull it out. I think an X-Acto knife would work great, but anything flat will work. And a lot of artists use a palette knife that's already in their studio. Since I work in watercolor, I don't really have a palette knife in my studio. So I'm using this just to show you. So pulling up that corner, you do have to be careful. If your paper is even the slightest bit wet, um, you run the risk of ripping along the edge. And I've done that a lot of times, so be careful. Um, do make sure that your painting is completely dry before trying to remove. And this is 300 pound paper, so it's very thick paper. But there it is, I've removed it. Ready to go, beautiful edges. And the next page is ready to go for my next painting. So I hope that helped. I hope it inspired you to use watercolor blocks in the future. Thanks a lot and happy painting. And if you'd like to see me paint this swan and her little baby from start to finish, I have a full process video up on my channel as well. So be sure to check that out.